Number 10. Although Yes Man may appear to be completely joyous, there is evidence to suggest that he has other emotions. It is clear that Yes Man hates the Great Khans, though he is only able to convey this on a passive-aggressive level, by calling them quote-unquote dirty people and hoping that they will get wiped out by Rad Scorpions after the Courier convinces them to leave New Vegas. If the Courier destroys the Securitrons at Fortification Hill, he will say, you blew it up. That's just funny because that army seems like the secret weapon was the whole point of, you know, with a disappointed tone. Number 9. Mr. House had a Securitron gal named Marilyn that was apparently cut from the game. She was likely to be based on Marilyn Monroe. However, she appears alongside Jane in a card from the deck of cards of the collector's edition of Fallout New Vegas. The texture for her face is in the game's files and there's a reference to her in the GEC. Also, after meeting Mr. House, Veronica will say that she is surprised he only had two sex robot slaves. This was likely meant to be a reference to Jane and the absent Marilyn, but that line was never removed or changed. Number 8. While siding with the Legion can be a fun way to play New Vegas, siding with the Legion can make keeping most companions very difficult while following the main storyline, and most human companions will likely abandon the player over time. Veronica Santaglio will likely leave when the Brotherhood of Steel bunker is destroyed, Craig Boone will leave when the player kills several NCR soldiers, Arcade Ganon will leave when your reputation with their Legion grows too high, Rose of Sharon Cassidy allows the player to work with the Legion despite her dislike for them, Rawl is somewhat supported due to their ability to provide security, and Lily Bowen is too mentally damaged to have any opinion whatsoever. It is possible to maintain all companions through a mix of not speaking to Ganon, not traveling with Boone while killing NCR, and luck in Veronica's case. Number 7. Big Empty or Big Mountain is based on the real-life location Black Mesa in Arizona. The Big Empty was also a location that was scrapped from Black Isle's cancelled Fallout 3 Van Buren. Number 6. In the German version of New Vegas, there is no gore. German players that want the full Fallout experience can, just like with Fallout 3, buy the Austrian version of the game, which basically features the uncut Peggy version with German speech and text. However, the German Ultimate Edition is completely uncensored. Number 5. There are 15 weapons that were cut from New Vegas, however, a few weapons are accessible through console commands. Some of the more interesting ones are the Poison Hatchet, which functions exactly as the name would imply. The Double Barrel Shotgun was cut from the game before it could even be implemented, but a number of resources remain in the game's files for the weapon, including the weapon model and firing sounds, as well as an unused form list, Repair NV Double Barrel Shotgun. Other cut weapons include the Fatterator, Stun Baton, and Gas Grenade. Number 4. There are a total of 37 factions in Fallout New Vegas. The four major factions are the New California Republic, or NCR, Kaiser's Legion, Mr. Robert House, and Yes Man, or Independent New Vegas. The five minor factions are Boomers, Brotherhood of Steel, Followers of the Apocalypse, Great Khans, and Enclave Remnants. The strip factions are the Chairman, Omertas, and White Glove Society. The four merchant companies are Crimson Caravan, Van Graffs, Gunrunners, and Happy Trails Caravan. The four raider gangs are Fiends, Jackals, Vipers, and Scorpions. A few towns also qualify as factions. These are Good Springs, Freeside, The Strip, Novak, Jacobstown, and Prim. The 11 remaining factions are Bright Brotherhood, State of Utopatha, The Kings, New Canaanites, Powder Gangers, West Side Militia, Sorrows, Dead Horses, White Legs, The Think Tank, and Twisted Hairs. Number 3. This one spoils the ending to Fallout New Vegas. Click the annotation to skip past it if you don't want to be spoiled. Mr. House never has anything nice to say about you. If you take Mr. House out of his stasis chamber, he will ask you why you have ruined his plans and will react differently depending on what you tell him. If you say you did it in the name of the NCR, he will belittle them and call you a sad, misguided whore. If you tell him you were acting on behalf of Kaisar, he will be horrified that slavery is humanity's future. If you say you did it for Yes Man, he will tell you that your vanity project is doomed for failure. If you say it was just business, by saying that you should have worked for him for personal gain. Finally, if you say that you did it just because you didn't like him, he will call you a fool for letting your feelings about him jeopardize humanity's future. Number 2 in Old World Blues, Dr. Boris reveals that he created the Cazadors, but denies that they have escaped from Big Empty, or that they have the ability to breed. While Boris states that he created them in 2003, he is not a reliable source, as Dr. Mobius altered his chronometer, among other things. Number 1. If you sleep with Benny and don't kill him in his sleep, he will leave a note thanking you and saying not to follow him to the fort. 
and it also says that when he gets back, the courier and Benny should go on a date. If you are a female character with a Black Widow perk and sleep with him and then free him from the fort, he does not keep his promise of a date as he disappears from the game after exiting the area, proving that Benny is a lying sack of shit. Alright, that is going to do it for this top 10 video focusing on Fallout New Vegas. If you liked the video or learned anything new, like the video. Dislike the video if you didn't like it or you already knew most of these facts. Leave a comment if you would like to see me do other videos for other games or other game characters. My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.